closing kick she has. Effortlessly. Good enough for you. She's so beautiful, and of course, Mike Smith is the greatest jockey. So. How do you describe perfection? Why try? Let's just watch her run. Here comes Zenyatta in the center of the racetrack. She's cocky. She has it. She knows it. Here she comes right on by. Zenyatta suddenly to in front. This is simply poetry in motion. She can inhale the field from the far turn to the stretch. And Zenyatta on the grandstand side. When you think that she's hopelessly beaten, oh, she's too far behind. She's never going to make it. As soon as you think that, here she comes. So comes Zenyatta. I can't get enough of you. Welcome to the Breeders' Cup Preview Show. The night has fallen after day one of this two-day event where the entire world, the best horses, have gathered to compete. And it was the Europeans who struck first blood. They won two on the first day. Greg Wolf, Simon Bray, Paul Laduca with you to preview what is going to happen on day two. Gentlemen, very exciting opening day. And it's only going to get better on Saturday. Of course, the classic, the main event, and the big question, Ken Zenyatta get it done. I think so, and I think a lot of those questions might have been answered today with the victory by Life is Sweet in the Breeders' Cup Ladies Classic. That is the stable mate of Zenyatta. Zenyatta has beaten her multiple times, Paul, <laughs> and all this does is en enhance Zenyatta's credentials more and more and more as we get closer to post -time. Yeah, we were talking about it earlier. Maybe we thought Zenyatta had taken the life out of Life is Sweet because she had thumped her three or four times, but Life is Sweet showed her class today. And now how good really is Zenyatta? And, and Life is Sweet didn't just win. I mean, she won big. She trounced that field. Here is a look at Zenyatta. Simon, you were here for this work, right? Yes, I witnessed this work in person last week at Hollywood Park at about 9 a.m. in the morning. And this was one of the best workouts I've seen from any racehorse, let alone Zenyatta. She sat behind a stable mate here and quickened up nicely. This is her pattern move. She sits back. She makes one round. And she is just absolutely cruising here. She has not got out of second gear. This is exactly what you want to see coming to a world thoroughbred championship weekend and I think well the thing that the key is too is life is sweet and John Sheriffs will say his favorite track and her favorite track is Santa Anita same with Zenyatta I think Zenyatta did not like the Del Mar track she's always this has been her favorite that makes her even more dangerous from what you saw the way the track was playing this afternoon too, her running style coming from off the pace how's it going to suit her tomorrow I think it'll be fine. We saw that from Life is Sweet today. I'm not concerned about that. I think she's going to get the right pace set up here, and I don't see a problem. The only pr concern is how wide of a trip she will get. Yeah, I don't think she's going to be able to go three or four wide in circle field. I think she might have to sit a trip and save some ground. Let's face it, she's going to face a better field than she's ever faced before. But the track, I think it's playing okay. I think the turf track is, uh, is more towards speed, where I think the main track is playing fair. Well, you, you said it. I mean, this is by far the best field she will have ever faced in her life. Let's meet the field that she will line up against and it is a very good deep group let's start with rip van winkle for just a moment as we have the odds we're going to come up here for just a moment uh rip van winkle the foot issue is that a concern at all yeah it is a big concern greg because the rumor has been all week long he's been battling a foot injury he's been getting hot in his training in the morning he did look a little better later this week but i don't think the buzz around the european camp is as confident as it was maybe 10 15 days ago in rip van winkle Seven to two for Rip Van Winkle on the morning line. Johnny Murtaugh will be aboard for more on the classic. Here's the inside track. This year's edition of the Breeders' Cup Classic has the buildup of a race for the ages. Zenyatta improved to a perfect 13 for 13, tying personal ensign's mark with her win in the Ladies' Secret. And just look at her go. Zenyatta strikes the front. And it's Zenyatta. Personal Ensign retired after her 13-win mark. Zenyatta's connections have elected to take on the boys for the first time in a field that is loaded. I believe she can run with anyone, and I, I stand by that. And uh, you know, I know that if she gets opportunity and runs her race wherever she runs, she's gonna, it's going to be something special to see. There's been talk that Aiden O'Brien has been telling people close to him that Rip Van Winkle is the most talented horse he's ever brought to the Breeders' Cup. But now the stamina comes into play and Rip Van Winkle will win the QE2. At age seven, Einstein has had his best year yet. He's also done something no other horse in the field has accomplished. He's won a grade one this year over the Santa Anita main strip against males. But it's gonna be Einstein to win the big cap. Well, he trained all well on it in March and he's trained well the last couple of days. So we'll have a little breeze this weekend and see, but he seems to really like it. Gio Ponti is arguably America's best turf horse. Gio Ponti adds the million to his grade one collection. Trainer Christophe Clement has elected to take the challenge in the Classic. 
This winter, he won a grade three and finished fifth in a grade two on Santa Anita's Synthetic. Summer Bird has a solid lead for champion three-year-old male honors. Now, he must beat the best older horses in the world in his synthetic track it debut. Is, and it is Summer Bird! Uh, I don't think that he's really had to adjust much here. Uh, from the first day I galloped him over the racetrack, he seemed to be all right. You know, I think each work he's moved forward. Another good three-year-old, Quality Road, who lost by a length last time out to Summer Bird, is another horse you don't know whether or not he'll take to Santa Anita's Pro Ride. Derby champion Mind That Bird hopes to pull another upset, this time on the West Coast. He ran a disappointing sixth in his Santa Anita debut last time out in the Goodwood. They got away with a real soft pace early. We were a little too far back for, for, the, for the pace. And when, when the running started, we were closing, and we were closing faster than everybody else. It just, there wasn't enough pace to get them back to us. And Godolphin's Regal Ransom went gate to wire in the Super Derby last time out. If he wants the lead, he'll have to run a much faster opening half mile in the Classic. Regal Ransom, enters onto the wire. The Super Derby was a best case scenario. It was a very soft paced scenario, and it's going to be a lot tougher here with, you know, the quality roads and the Einsteins and probably the Zenyatas swinging up on the far turn. It's going to be a lot tougher on him here than it was in Louisiana. And that's the TVG inside track for the Breeders' Cup Classic. There you have it. There is the inside track, the time form ratings, and Rip Van Winkle, Zenyatta. Guys, they're awfully close to each other. They certainly are. I mean, you can see 147 time form rating. That's one of the higher numbers you get. Of course, higher the better. Zenyatta right there at 145, 5 to 2 on the morning line. And then the Kentucky Derby winner only rated 139 in this group. I think the key part, uh, you look at all those horses on that list, every one of them has traveled all around the world, either from Europe, either from New York, whatever. Zenyatta's been hurt here in her backyard. I think she ends up being the freshest horse. There's one horse who you think is kind of flying under the radar. Would you get, Who would you say that is? I'm a Girolamo guy. I know he hasn't trained well over the track. I think he's very, very talented. I know this is a tough ask going a mile and a quarter, but I think he's got a lot of talent. I'll give you the A. Einstein there at 12 to 1 on the morning line. Been training phenomenally here this week. Einstein would be my bust out play. Yeah, I can't believe he's 12 to 1 yep. morning line. Well, earlier this year, leading up to the Breeders' Cup, TVG had a $10,000 free roll contest. It was a chance of a lifetime for one TVG account holder to win that opportunity to bet $10,000, one win wager on Breeders' Cup weekend. And a trip to the Breeders' Cup as well. Our winner is with us, kind enough to join us on set right now. Quinn Strander joining us from Louisiana. Quinn, good to have you on the set. Thank you. Uh, you did not go today. You didn't make that play today. Will you be betting on Zenyatta on Saturday with that $10,000? Zenyatta is one of my favorite horses. I watched her, followed her, 13-0. She really excites me. There's some other choices leading up to Zenyatta because I have to bet on a race, but I can bet on anyone up to that race. But if it gets down to the Classic, I'm going to have to really look uh, hard at Zenyatta. Well, put us through today. Okay, you were close to betting Ventura. You were really close. How close were you? I mean, mentally, how close were you going to the window and punching that ticket? Ventura is my choice today. It, it really it got down to the bottom line, four to five. The odds weren't good. Um, you know, I, I really want to make a big splash. I really want to make a big bang. And the Ventura at four to five, it just wasn't wasn't there. And I, I looked at informed decision. Oh, she looked really good. So I backed off. And I, I, I don't know how much he, he gave you advice on it, but don't consult with this guy anymore. So don't, don't listen well, to him. Well, I didn't, I didn't want to bring that up. Opinion. I didn't want to bring that up. <laughs> I, I was a Ventura guy, but the one thing Quinn did say yesterday, if the price dropped, you weren't going to partake in any part of Ventura, correct? That, that's correct. Son. Exactly. And, and that gives me a whole other day. I have a bunch of different choices as we're looking at Lucky and on down to uh, Gallego. I really love Gallego. And you got Master Craftsman all what, the way to Zenyatta. What happens? Say you have three or four choices. Maybe you narrow them down to in races tomorrow. If a race goes by, you don't put your $10,000 here, and that horse wins. You're probably going to start getting a little bit. The heart's going to start pounding a little bit more. And my, my hands are going to start sweating and sweating and sweating and all that. And it's going to get down to Classic. But, you know, all in all, I feel really good about the Classic because my favorite horse, my favorite horse that I really want to bet, and this is her right here, and that's where I'm going, right here. Zenyatta all the way. Go Zenyatta! So I know she won't let me down in the end.